9th students is the fifth day of question class of grade 6 of the subject obviously yes so today we are still in unit 1 in unit 1 in this unit in the first unit we have talked about we have discussed about many more things okay in the same unit, in number 7, there is a speaking part. And under a speaking part, there is must and most important topic, which is requesting and responses. Requesting and is reply or responses. So let's go. So what are some useful expressions that we frequently use for requesting? What statement or what expression that we use for requesting? For requesting purpose, what type of expression we use? Someone, some of the people, they might use can you or could you or some of the people they might use would you mind? Okay, so here are all together seven expressions that are very useful for requesting. Anything. Alright? So, see here, number one, can you? Here, the word means anything. It could be. That's for example, can you give me your pen? Can you lend me your pen? Can you provide me your money? Anything it could be. So, it's a formal way or it's a very polite way of requesting. Okay? Can you? Then, number three, there is could you? Could you come here? Could you give this? Could you lend me this? Okay? Similarly, do you think you could? Do you think you could do this? Or do you think you could uh, give me your money? Do you think you could lend me your pay? Understood. So in this way, number D, may I go there? May I check your belonging? May I come with you? Okay. So, up to number D, expression. So number E, could you mind? I am serious. Uh, after mind, we should use box or song. Would you mind going there? Would you mind taking this? Would you mind giving this to me? Understood. So similarly number number six, this another expression. I would be grateful. And apostrophe G refers to could. W O U L D could. I would be grateful if you could do this. I would be grateful if you could lend me this. I would I would be grateful if you could borrow this for me. Understood. Number C, I wonder if you could. No, no, no. Obviously, I think we have understood all this expression. So, in formal way, out of this eight, out of this eight, is a, out of this seven, we frequently use what? This one, can you? This may I? Or uh, this key number. We frequently use this expression. But, except this three, there are other expressions also, which we could. Use okay, it makes your statement polite. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Consider it is a conversation. Conversation. Conversation here. Slightly spelling mistake was here, so sorry for this. Conversation means a dialogue. Here in the conversation, we talk about there includes the there includes the topic like requests and responses. There is includes the subject matter of requests and responses. So let's see here a topic. A man, a man is asking for a pen at post office. There's a topic, a slide to topic. So in this topic, we have to make a conversation. And this conversation, it must include request, first request, then responses of the request. Alright. So see here, there is one man proposed, he might have gone to post office. Now he wants to ask for a pay at post office. So how would he request with the people? So let's see for both. What he will say? Excuse me, could you give me your pay for a moment, please? Could you give me your pay? Which one we have used here? This one, alright? So excuse me, could you give me your pay for a moment, please? Then another question, what you will reply, what, you, what would be the response of another man? Copy. I am really sorry. It 
different by as well. That's the responses of the first request. Pramod, that's all right, no problem. Pramod now asked with a, a request for a pain with the another person. So they're in bracket I pay to the another person. Would you mind lending me your pain, please? Would you mind lending me, lending me your pain, please? Alright? So would you mind? This one for more has used. See again in this conversation for more had it, uh, for more he had used two expressions. First one, could you give? The second one, would you mind lending? Understood? Suzy, another question again. Okay. Suzy, what do you say? Certainly here you are in the It's the pain to promote. And promote what responses? Thank you. Okay? So here there was now let's come to the activity side or exercise of this related topic. Requesting and responses. Activities is given in page number 11, question number E. Got it? So see here, I have written two. I have written two questions of the same topic. First one is turning down the radio. You want someone, you want someone, you are requesting someone to turn down the radio. So how would you request them? Alright, by using what expression you are going to request them. So let's discuss about it. Number A, sorry, A question. A and B, they are the question, okay? So it's a type of conversation. A, would you mind turning on the radio? In a formal way. How would you request? Would you mind turning on the radio? B, what is it? What? Will be his responses? Of course, I would do. So here in first one, in this expression, you can use this expression also, or you can use another expression from seven, from anyone from seven. Understood? It's not very much important to write the same expression. Instead of this, in place of this, you could use any of the expression yourself. So I hope you have understood this number. First, would you mind turning on the radio? This request. Responses, of course, I will do fix. Then number B, lending your request 50. So let's request, let's make a request in a formal way. So what what expression would we use here? A number, would you mind lending me request 50? Would you mind lending me request 50? Or you can also say, do you think you could lend me request 50? Understood. I think you are getting my point. Would you mind lending, lending me request 50? Or any other expression you could use yourself. So B, sorry, I don't have. So what's the B responses here? Sorry, I don't have. B is the negative responses for the request. Then again, A. It's alright, no problem. Again, A, as this page was insufficient here, I have written some part above. So A. He requests to the another person. I would be grateful. So what expression he has used here now? I would be grateful if you could lend me rupees 50. This one expression he had used. In our two examples, first, would you mind? In first, he had used this, this expression. Then second, while requesting another person, he had used this request. Okay? I would be grateful if you could lend me rupees. 50. C is another person. Okay? Not B, but C is another person here. Certainly, of course, here you are. A, what responses? Thank you. So you have B. So B character, B person. He has given the negative responses for the request. And C, he has given positive responses for the request. So, this was all about the request here. Responses. I hope you have understand well. So you can write this all expression in your copy too. And you can similarly or as well as you can try the same. So page number 11. They are given other questions. Only two questions have solved. Many more questions have given to you in book. So see there. Same book. Page number 11. Question number E. 
you must try yourself by using this expression. Understood? First make request, then give responses. So this was all for today. Hope you have understand. I will I will be connected with you with some more knowledge, with some more videos. Till then, take care. Be safe. Thank you.